I just wanted to take this opportunity to update you on uh, the position with regards to St Luke's. I want to make it just absolutely clear that uh, at no time has the city uh, courted uh, interest into St Luke's or at no time has the city uh, made any uh, overtures about the sale of, of, of St Luke's. I, I remember St Luke's in, in the 80s and the, uh, the proposals to knock it down and create the, a ring road and I was against that then because, as I said, it's got a, a special sort of um, feature in my life uh, growing up within that area. Uh, I like it because it's a memorial and a monument to those that lost their lives in the Blitz uh, during the Second World War. But there are other, also uh, other aspects of it, the Irish famine and many other uh, things. And people have got to, to uh, love the building and what it stands for as a, a, a symbol, if you like, of... of uh, anti-war and, and, and a symbol of peace so I want to protect it as much as most people in this city do. Um, so we've got some proposals that have been uh, given to me uh, to have a look at and uh, over the next few days I'm going to have a look at that. I've met with uh, the people that provide uh, some activity within the grounds of St Luke's now they're called Urban Strawberry Lunch and I've met with um, them and I've had discussions with them and, and discussed with them uh, their proposals for the future. And what I've actually done is facilitated a meeting between uh, the, the guy who's put some proposals forward, his name's Lawrence, uh, from Signature Living and uh, Urban Strawberry Lunch. So they're going to meet and have a discussion. And I'm going to have a look at the proposals and, uh, and see what they are like and whether they can work or whether... Um, you know, they do what I want it, want it to do, that is to protect the integrity uh, of the building. You know, for me, I look back over the last sort of, uh, you know, 10 years, and I look at some of the, the wonderful buildings that we've got in the city and some of the inertia or inactivity, if you like, uh, of the council, but of other people uh, squabbling over things that have been detrimental to those buildings. And, you know, examples, the Casatelli building in, in, in Duke Street, um, you know, what we see is a wonderful building on, on the corner of Duke Street, but it's not the original, because while we were squabbling over it, it fell down. And we've got to avoid that happening again. And, you know, we've got tough times, challenges ahead of us in terms of finances. So we've got to work with other people to actually look at how we can protect that. Now, whether that's people in the community sector and the voluntary sector, or whether it's with private sector businesses, or a mixture of both, we'll look at those. And we won't do anything that uh, I'm sure people will be uh, you know, annoyed about. We'll do something that gets it right. I want to protect the integrity of the building so much because of what it means to the people of the city. And not only that, you know, even without anybody or any interest, we would secure uh, the building and make sure that it's stable, but also make sure that we develop it, if you like, as a tourist uh, attraction, because it is. It's clearly one of the jewels in the crown. And I value the building uh, just as much as I do some of the other historic buildings within the city. So there's no plans uh, to actually demolish it or no plans uh, to do anything untoward. Some people have come up with conspiracies now as to why the gates are closed. Well, the gates are closed because during the bad storms, the weather, um, a lot more damage has been done to it. So we've got it closed off because there's a survey taking place. That survey, I think, starts very, very shortly. Um, and it'll take about two to three weeks to complete. And then we'll have a full report on what damage has been done. And of course, we'll take steps to make sure that we put that right. So I just wanted to give you that update on, on, on where we are. There's going to be a meeting between uh, Signature Living um, and also um, Urban Strawberry Lunch. And when uh, they've had a discussion and whatever, when I've had an opportunity to look at the plans and proposals, we'll meet with them to see how we progress things and move forward. But I promise you, it will be done with the respect and the integrity that you wish for that building. And I wish for that building.